How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and Into the Spider-Verse is miles better than Across the Spider-Verse. I'm not gonna bullshit you. I really enjoyed the second movie almost throughout the whole thing, except for the ending. I don't care what anyone else on this planet says. That was one of the worst ways to end a fucking movie. To be continued? Are you serious? Oh my god. That is one of the worst shits ever, and I'm gonna tell you why, because I expected Across the Spider-Verse to be a complete product, which... For the most part, it was, but the story wasn't complete. And in order to judge this thing fully, I'd have to watch the second part, which is bullshit. I know I sound upset at this. I'm not really too upset, but it brings my score down because this is kind of an incomplete product. I'm sorry. Like, how can I judge? I like judging things in its totality and this is not complete. I'm sorry. Also, I feel the intro with Gwen, like, a lot of the sounds were kind of drowned out and it could have been my theater, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of it was kind of interesting and I love female characters. I love like women in general and like it was a very odd choice to start with Gwen as like, you know, the starter. Like I said before, I have no problems with Gwen at all, but she really is sort of a side character and I know they're trying to flesh out her reasoning for the rest of the story, but I feel that could have been condensed and summarized within like Miles going to the Spider-Verse or whatever it was. Another tiny critique I have is the action sequence where uh, Miles runs away from all these Spider-Man. And it was, the animation in general is absolutely amazing. I love the animation start to finish. Like they, they mastered their craft, absolutely. But I really feel the chase went on a little too long now that I think about it. As a viewer and a lover of animation, it was absolutely amazing, but story-wise and like runtime, it kind of lasted quite a while for no real reason. I get they were trying to show the severity of Miles' situation, you know, he's against all the Spider-Man in the fucking world. So like, yes, it's a very vast system. And like, I, I very much appreciated that, but it was such a long run time. And the only reason I have this complaint is mainly because of the ending. I wish they would have completed this whole saga. I think Miles Morales, the whole saga should have ended with like two movies in my general opinion. I think it, I think it would have been perfect for two movies, but no, they kind of got greedy in my eyes. And now they're making a third one, which will come out next year, I believe it will. But it's it's just not enough for me. Into the Spider-Verse, I can judge as like a solo product. It was complete. But across the Spider-Verse, it feels like a continuation that needs a continuation. And honestly, for that, it's going to be probably a 8 out of 10 for me. I really, really enjoyed a lot of aspects of this, including the music, the animation, the atmosphere, the jokes. A lot of it was a masterpiece. But that ending just felt very incomplete to me and I can't really think past it. It did not win movie of the year for me. I think movie of the year is Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And I know some people are gonna say, oh, that released last year, but you know, December, December, like any release in December is basically the next year. Like, come on now. But yeah, I feel that movie is way stronger story-wise and not animation-wise, not animation-wise, not in the slightest, but story-wise, I feel it's complete and the animation is actually extremely good still. So that is my movie of the year so far. And I wanted Across the Spider-Verse to be the movie of the year. I mean, it'll be a movie of the year for like everybody else, but for me, no, Puss in Boots is the movie of the year for me. Anyway, that's all I have. If you hate me, shut the fuck up. Uh, have a good day, my pups. <laughs>